Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai. O praise unto Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Kadash. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone, and honors to brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity for the four corners of the earth. So this here uh, quick video, I'm gonna call this uh, quick video uh, the parameters, and um, pretty much um, the inspiration of this video. Is from my own day-to-day uh, -day walk. Okay, some of the experiences I've been ex experiencing in the last couple of days, um, some difficulties, some major difficulties, but with the laws uh, of mercy and grace, you know, I'll be, um, I'll make it through. But the events have led me to um, to ponder some thoughts to try to build my spirit up as I go. And the conclusion I've kind of come to it as it stands at the minute is the uh, inspiration of this video, which is the parameters, man. And what I mean by that is the um, what you've been given, okay, the dispensation uh, uh, of the spirit that the Heavenly Father has given you, right? Flowing naturally, not trying to be somebody that you're not in terms of this word. And also too in the world, because you, you could do that and you could destroy yourself by doing that. But more, uh, more so within this word, right? The capacity to which the heavenly Father has uh, given you uh, this word, right? That's what I mean by the parameters, okay? Uh, uh, whether you're living uh, uh, in your own home, okay? Whether you're living in in the flat, whether you're living in your mom's house, whether you're living, you know, with a brother, okay? Whether you have uh, three wives, whether you have no wife, okay? Whether you have money, you don't have no money. Okay, those parameters that you have, that's what the Heavenly Father is giving unto you. And with that, uh, you are expected to be functional. Okay, all right. I wouldn't say be all right because the scripture does say, P, I believe it was Peter or was it Paul that said, I know how to abase and I, I know how to abound. That means to say he went through particular situations where he had abundance and then sometimes he was destitute, man. Now, abundance and destitute could be, that could mean anything depending on what brother it is, all right? If you're a brother in this truth and you've got two kids and your car breaks down, that's like a position of being destitute because having children and no vehicle, <laughs> boy, <laughs> that's hell, all right? Again, you know, any, any type of situation you could work with, all right, you know, you can mention, it all comes back to that statement that I was making about the parameters, so with this, within this thing, the Heavenly Father gives you certain things, certain challenges, okay, and certain uh, 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 um, situations that you're supposed to overcome, all right, where you're supposed to think outside of the box, where you're supposed to um, overcome, right? Just like how, like in any in any good movie, the the, the 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 main character doesn't just have a have it easy, man. <laughs> and that's a good. And that's a good way to, to look at it. And suppose that's the, the essence of this video. When you're watching a good movie, all right, whether it's Superman or whether it's uh, 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 Michael B. Jordan playing whatever character, okay, or whatever, whoever you, whatever your favorite movie is and whoever your favorite actor is, the, 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 the protagonist is of the, um, the protagonist hasn't just got a, a straightforward journey. That would be a boring, boring movie, okay? There's no character development. And I'm, I think I always mention this when I'm doing these type of particular, uh, these particular types of videos, is that the, in order for a, a person's character to be shaped, and that, and this is this is this, this is a good statement that I'm thinking now and saying, in order for a person's character to be shaped, they must needs be adversity. Okay, I'm gonna repeat that again. In order for a person's character to be shaped, they must needs be adversity. That way, when you overcome those particular things, all right, you are in impregnated with the different character tropes that the Heavenly Father wanted you to have, whether that might be humility, and humility comes as a result of humiliation, all right, whether it may be confidence, because the most I could put you in a position where, you, you know, you, you got to have a hell of a lot of confidence for a hell of a lot of, uh, of time, and you, that might be a, a, a hindrance to you for a certain amount of times. So that might be a hell, right? But working within those parameters, all right, and 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 using the dispensation of the, the spirit the heavenly father is giving you, and, and and in an attempt to overcome, you develop those 
particular character traits that the Heavenly Father wants you to have. And the most I might have you give you a position where you need to have those characteristics. But it all comes back off of um, adversity. Again, when you look at an athlete and the passion that they have for that particular sport and how much hell that they that they put themselves through. All right. Because they want those characteristics of, of uh, I'll use the, the example of, of, of basketball because I know a, a little bit about basketball. But when you're gonna be a, you know, when you were, when you want to be a good shooter, and I mean actually a, a, a good shooter, okay, you're gonna put a lot of hell on yourself, man. All right, you're gonna be taking a hell of a lot of, of, of shots. <laughs> you gotta take more shots than your opponent. Okay, you want to be a good sprinter, you gonna sprint more than the people that you sprint against, and so on and so forth and, for, and so forth and so on. All right, to to the end of of of, of almost abusing your own body. To achieve that particular goal. The same thing applies within this truth where you the situation that you might face, you might look like you might look at it like, damn, the Heavenly Father put me through that that situation. And now I'm in this situation. And now I'm in that situation. You know, when am I gonna catch a break? But when you watch a good movie, especially the really, really good movie, the most, the bestest ones, okay, the 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 the, the, the protagonist usually goes through the most adversity, and then when he overcomes. That's when you really like, man, damn. And I watched a, a particular breakdown on a, of a movie. That's what they call audience uh, 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 manipulation. Okay, manipulating the audience in order to like the protagonist. Because what? Basically, humanity likes the underdog. And why is that? Because the underdog is the person that was going to be catching all that hell and ultimately overcoming. And that's how you have to be within this truth. Taking the parameters that the Heavenly Father is giving you and overcoming, man. All right, which calls to remembrance this particular scripture, uh, the book of Revelations 2 and 25. See, it's all about overcoming, man. Okay, it's not about what you have. All right, it's not about what you will get. It's about overcoming because you might get particular things that that are a hindrance to you within this word, man. That are a hindrance to you within this brotherhood. That are hindering or hindrance to, this, to you, you know, to, to the longevity of you being in this word, excuse me. All right, it's not about what you have, it's not about what you will have, it's about overcoming, okay, overcoming yourself and your fleshly desires, overcoming your, uh, 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 um, uh, you know, the, the, the world that's around you, because, because the scripture does speak about how particular individuals was going to struggle within, within the world, man, and some of them was going to get choked up by the world, all right, you know, the, 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 um, the, 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 the seed, and some of it fell on the wayside, all right, some of it <laughs> fell on, on a pavement. <laughs> okay, some of it fell, up, you know, fell fell between the garbage cans, <laughs> and some of it fell in between some thorns and some bushes, and you know, it grew for a little while and then it just withered away. Or right, it got choked up. That's like a guy that comes into this truth it might grow for a while, it might grow fast too. All right, but the world cho chokes him out. You gotta be aware of that world, man. But like I said, it's not about what you have, man. It's not about what the other brother has. You look at you might look at a brother and say, "Oh, the more side is dealing with that brother because he's got, you know, three cars and five houses." I'm being facetious, but he's got X Y and his, you know X Y Z. Okay, he might he might be even a, a strong brother within within the world in terms of pushing this pushing this truth. Might have a great memory. Okay, might be able to uh, 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 break down scriptures immaculately. But those guys have come and went, man, right? Like the guy that used to be the head of the, the, the GMS Dallas camp. When I first came into this truth, I'm, I used to marvel. I was like, damn, that must be what it's, it means to be a man of the Lord. And lo and behold, he's nothing but the, the Heavenly Father's example. And, and the Heavenly Father always has an example, man. Okay, an example of how to be and how not to be. But like I was saying, it's not about what you have. It's not about what you will have. It's about whether you overcome those things. Uh, the book of Revelations 2 and 25 says, that which you have already hold fast. And that's what, that's what's really tough, man. Okay. That's what's really tough. You're not going to get videos like this from other camps, man, where we're going to tell you that this ain't, this ain't easy. Okay. Matter of fact, this is, this is really, this is the hardest thing you ever have to do. Okay. Uh, uh, staying a uh, 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 hundred percent. Within your mind, all right, not going through the motions and actually being a functioning member within the body, not a dormant member, but a functioning member within this truth, 
Okay, developing in terms of character and developing in terms of this word, that's a difficult thing, man. Because the flesh, as far as the flesh is concerned, this is a difficult task, man. But the, but the spiritual man is renewed day in and day out. Okay, but that which you have already hold fast until I come, and he that overcometh, like I said, brothers, man, it's not about what you have. It's not about what you will have. It's not about what the brother that's next to you has or will have. It's about whether you're going to overcome, man. All right? And he that overcometh and keepeth my works to the end, to him will I give power over the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken, even as, I, even as I have received from my father. So that's what it's all about, man. Right? The end and overcoming the end. At the end. So hopefully that was of edification. You know, with that, I'm going to say, Oh, praise unto Yahweh, Shemi, Asha, Yahweh, Shemi, Kadash, that will honor us unto the apostles of great millstone. And honest, you both will be pushing this truth in sincerity. Shalom.